Hello and welcome to this video of how to change the port covers of the Z6, Z62, Z7 and Z72 digital cameras. So the Nikon digital cameras. So the port covers here, we have the mic cover and the headphone jack cover. Uh, and then behind we have the remote HDMI and USB covers. Now today we're only going to change this one here but it's exactly the same process for the rear one as well. Now these are made of rubber. Um, the tendons with Nikon rubber items are if there's heat involved sometimes they will warp. Um, it's happened with ma many digital cameras over the years so it's not just a problem with the Z, Z models. Now if you open it up you can see underneath we have the ports. Now this one here is the 126ZC, so the Nikon 126ZC. And the one at the back is the Nikon 126ZB. Now I'll leave links for replacement items of these in the, um, in the description in, on YouTube. Um, where you can uh, purchase them on eBay from my shop. So this is the uh, 126ZC for this one, uh, made in Thailand, uh, bought direct from Nikon. And then uh, the 126ZB, uh, again, this is the, this one here. So this one is, this is this 126ZB. Genuine item from Nikon, and then uh, the 126ZC, which is this one, which is the one that we're gonna show how to take out and replace, and that's that one. Now you'll notice that they come with the longer stalks. Now this is what comes to me direct from Nikon, and I send it out as is, um, because I'd like to send it to you as Nikon supplies me. Now what you need to do is there is a small notch just here. Uh, just after it comes to the straight stalk, you need to snip that off with scissors. It can be a little bit longer. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't protrude too far in. Um, but ideally you need to get it relatively close um, to the where it becomes straight. Um, and uh, I'll show you this when, when I remove this one here. Now we are going to remove this one here. I'm going to place it back in um, so I don't uh, use all my spares. Um, so what we need to do is we need to pull this out um, with, with a good enough force, but don't just yank it out. You need to put a, a steady pressure force on it. It's easier as well if you remove uh, the strap holder, which would go in here because that just gets in the way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of slowly pull on it. I'm also using a head torch as well, which is good so you can have a view, an easy view of, of how you're um, actually, what you're working with. I'm going to slowly pull it, um, but I'm going to put good pressure on it. And then you should hear a, a pop sound, which, which will obviously mean that it's out. You might need to give it a bit of a wiggle, like so. There we go, and it's out. So, this is the one that's come out, and you can see, if we put it against this one, where they've uh, cut down to. So they've cut down, again, just where the stalk is. So now I'm gonna so put it back in. Now you can see that it's got another little notch there. That goes in that one there, and the other one goes in this one here. Now to help me, I have this. So it's like a very small screwdriver, and it will basically help me push the knob back in to the hole, because the knob is bigger than the hole, so it needs to go into the hole. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just move the camera so it's it's pointing the best it's the easiest thing for me to do is have it between my legs while I work um, it just means that I can view it easier 
So I'm just going to move the camera now and do it from that position. Okay, so here I am in a slightly easier position for myself. Um, so I have my little screwdriver and I have my uh, original port cover that we are going to try and uh, slot back in. So what I'm going to do first is line it up and uh, get the uh, the little knob towards the hole and then we are going to use the little screwdriver to gently get it in now what you might need to do is lift the tab up when you've I think you've got it pretty much in like so which will help you just kind of get the edges in You just need to be careful with it. Lift it. Is that it? Let me put my head torch back on. Just needs a bit more of a prod. There we go. Is that back in? Yeah, there we go. So that's it. So that's it back in. Um, so obviously once you've replaced that with a new one it will I mean that fits as it should do it's, this has had a bit of use previously but there you go it's back in so hopefully that will um, help you if you uh, are looking to buy and replace your port covers as I say, just have something small like this small screwdriver. I got this free with, um, a, I think it was a hard drive kit. Um, so often they come with free screwdrivers and stuff. So it's usually the cheap uh, free little screwdrivers that you can get. You usually have them in your tool cupboard. Um, and yeah, and that should refresh your um, Z6, Z62, Z7 and Z Z72 mirrorless cameras. Uh, thank you for, very much for watching. Uh, again, the links are in the description if you need to buy these. Um, I send them all over the world. They're not just to the UK. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me through eBay as I'll get back to you a lot quicker than I will do through YouTube. All right then, thank you very much and goodbye.